Hello, my wonderful people. Una don't hear the latest news with the ground. The former governor of Ikiti State, Kayode Fayemi, is currently lobbying President Bola Tinibu to make him an ambassador. And guys, this is coming as he once boasted that he would not beg President Tinibu for an appointment. Let's not forget that he was once a presidential aspirant, yes, under the APC back then, before the 2023 presidential election, until Tinibu came up and clinched the party's ticket. So guys, this is interesting. It seems that this man is going back to his vomit. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, my country people, Kayode Fayemi has already reached out to President Bola Tinibu for an appointment. But this time around, he is using emissaries to beg the president for forgiveness for past mistakes. It was gathered that Fayemi had gone to beg President Tinibu at the Aso Villa with some governors and former governors to consider him for an appointment. The people who went with Fayemi to beg the president are the former governor of KB State, the current minister of budget and economy, Atiku Badudu, Bagudu, and the Oyo State Governor Sheyuma Kinde, the FCT Minister, Nyeson Wike, and the Minister of Defense, Abubakar Badaru. A source had revealed that Kayode Fayemi mobilized these governors to beg Ashiweju Bola Tinibu to forgive him because he wants to become an ambassador. They held a political strategic meeting today with President Bola Tinibu at the Aso Villa which is not limited to his lobbying for an ambassadorial position. And Fayemi had on January 2nd, 2024, boasted, he bragged that he would never beg President Tinibu for an appointment. But it seems that he is going back to his old vomit. The former governor who spoke during an interview had noted that he won't be making unsolicited calls to President Tinibu to lobby for possible opportunities to join his cabinet because he believed, as the former chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, he said he worked for the party, he worked for the president, and Nigerians should not forget that he wanted to be a president before Tinibu came and took over his position, but then noted that he wouldn't in any way bow to the president for an appointment. Guys, Dr. Kayode Fayemi and Ashiweju Bola had met Tinibu. They've gone way back, yes. And all this little, little crisis started when he, nursed, when he started nursing his presidential ambition. And this led to him turning some APC supporters that supported Ashiweju Bola admit Tinibu against Tinibu so that they would support him. All this happened in Ekiti. Those that were rooting for Ashiweju Bola admit Tinibu, he turned them just because of his presidential ambition. And this man, before he left, uh, before the end of his tenure, you know, as the governor of Ekiti State. Uh, Dr. Kayode Fayemi had reduced a whooping sum of 1.3 billion from the Ekiti Wema bank account a day before leaving office. The same day he withdrew 2 billion from the Workers' Cooperative Society Fund shortly before the end of his first term in office. And the people of Ekiti State looked at what happened. I mean, the people of Ekiti State watched as all these things happened, but they couldn't do anything. Even a few days before his exit, it was said that he reportedly purchased three SUVs for himself. 
three SUVs on him for himself. Although he tried uh, swaying some people who were supporting Ashiweju Bola at Metinibo to his own side. But then he quietly stepped down a few hours to the APC presidential primaries after seeing the handwriting on the wall that he wasn't going to make it to the end because they decided that Tinibu would take would, would take over as the party's flag bearer. That was how he backed out. He even tried in fact it was said that he made efforts. He made series of efforts and his efforts paid paved way for the removal of the former chairman of the APC, the former chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Comrade Adams Ushomole, who is said to be one of Tinibu's strongest ally, so that he can work against the ambition of President Bola Tinibu. Now look at it. Even when he was doing all these things, to an extent, people noted that because of his activities, his name would be blacklisted among people that would lobby for an office or for a position if Tinibu should clinch to the, to the office. So guys, a lot of things really happened though. But I mean, this is politics now. He has seen the handwriting on the wall. I think he is politically unemployed. And currently, who knows what he might be going through. For him to crawl back to the president after boasting and bragging that he wouldn't lobby for an appointment. And he didn't go alone. No. He mobilized Governor Sheyuma Kinde and other ministers to come and beg Tinibu just to make him an ambassador. You can imagine, my country people. So politics has now become a profession in Nigeria. So if Tinibu should give him that ambassadorship position, what does he seek to gain? Is it that there is no other business in this country rather than politics? Why is he so interested in becoming an ambassador? Does he have what it takes to become an ambassador? Why is he lobbying for that position? Is it that he is broke or he doesn't have anything doing than involving himself in this partisan politics? Well, others may say he deserves it because he supported APC. He supported Ashiweju Bolad Metinibu after he clinched the party's ticket when he was declared the winner of the APC's presidential uh, primary elections. He then realized that the battle is over for him and started supporting President Bola Tinibu. So my country people, this is it all. These are our Nigerian politicians for you. Well, Let's see how it goes. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.